A North Carolina organization is repurposing old city buses to help vaccinate the community against COVID-19. WAR for Life is turning Durham buses into mobile vaccine clinics, preparing to deploy them across the state in an effort to help vaccinate hard to reach communities. The vaccines will be supplied by local pharmacies and local nurses and health advocates will help to administer the doses. Program coordinator Donald Hughes says a lot of black, rural and immigrant communities are not being vaccinated at an efficient rate and they hope to change that with this program. Incredible new images of a giant lava lake on Hawaii's Big Island. This is what it looks like at the top of Kilauea Summit. In December, one of the summit's craters began erupting, spewing fountains of lava more than 160 feet into the air. The eruption also evaporated a water lake that had formed inside the crater. This video, which has been sped up, shows how the lava has slowly spread out into that lake. According to the U.S. Geological Survey, the lake is now full of about 10 billion gallons of lava. While moving forward with a plan to change their name, the Cleveland Indians said they will not permit fans inside Progressive Field wearing Native American headdresses or face paint. The team announced the fan dress policy for the 2021 season in advance of Monday's home opener against the Detroit Tigers. The Kansas City Chiefs announced a similar ban of headdresses at Arrowhead Stadium last year. A global survey conducted by the United Nations Agency has found a lot of people believe climate change and the loss of biodiversity will be the world's most pressing challenges over the next 10 years. 67% of respondents said they expect climate change to bring about more and more extreme weather and natural disasters. Survey respondents said countries around the world must work together to address these concerns, and they suggested more investment be made in green initiatives, promoting international cooperation and building trust in science as the best ways to address these issues. Some people decided to use government stimulus payments to help them buy a car. CarMax saw higher sales in its recent quarter. It says stimulus helped maintain used car demand despite severe weather in February and the pandemic's disruption of its business. Even with higher sales, CarMax reported a smaller profit than a year ago. There you go, five things to know before you go to bed.